Rafin's mother-in-law suffered from dementia. When he and his wife became caretakers in her final years, they studied up. The more you can learn, the better you're going to be and the better understand the disease. Often used interchangeably, Alzheimer's and dementia are both forms of mental degradation. In many ways they seem the same, but they're actually two, two different, different medical terms. I tell people that it's sort of like dementia is the team and Alzheimer's is one of the players. Dementia covers a number of disorders, Alzheimer's being most common. Dr. Michael Robb is a geriatrician with Lee Memory Care. Depending on who you believe, between 60 and 80 percent are caused by Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's has physical characteristics in the brain which most other forms of dementia don't have. When you look at the brain, there's tangles and plaques. And the Lewy body dementias, the vascular dementias, the frontal dementias, which none of them have really any plaques or tangles. What's more, Alzheimer's involves a gradual progression that can begin in middle age. General dementia is usually found in advanced years. Hank's mother-in-law was in her 90s. She didn't have a bad word to say about anybody. Uh, she's the sweetest person you ever want to meet. Finally, various conditions can affect different parts of the brain. Only a specialist can give you a proper diagnosis. It takes very sophisticated testing, which is what we do here with our neuropsychologists, to try and differentiate the areas of thinking that have been lost. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.